Hello everyone, uh, in this episode I will show you guys how to install MatPower in MATLAB. MatPower is a collection of .m files which is very helpful in performing large scale power flow analysis. So to do that, uh, first you need to download the necessary files, go to your browsers and type in free uh, download MatPower. Click on the MatPower homepage from where you can download the latest version of the map powers so currently I am selecting 6.0 version click on download now which will take you to a next page where you can select the primary purpose of using the map power I will just go and select the education so you can click on download and you will end up with the folder containing all the necessary files in a zip format you can unzip them so I have currently Store all the files inside uh, inside the power flow folders uh, here are uh, the files necessary to install the map power inside the map power 6.0 folders and this one is a PDF files which is a user manual for using the map powers by the way you can download this PDF uh, in the same website just go uh, down the website in the document design sections you will see map power users manuals you can click on this and download it and this is very useful while using some of the functions that you may not know for the first time okay so i'll go to the matlab so i'm currently using a matlab 2015 version before you start to install map power make sure that uh, the folder uh, where all the files are there uh, necessary to install the map power are in the current folder so currently uh, the my directory is in the desktop so I have already downloaded the files and stored inside the power flow folders inside this map power 6.0 so make sure that all the files are in the current folder after that you go to the home button and then click on the set path we have to first uh, set path for different folders, actually five folders, and we'll be ready to run the map power in MATLAB. Okay, so click on add folder and browse to uh, the uh, folders uh, which you have currently downloaded. So I have stored it in the power flow map power 6.0. Click on inside that, select most, and select folders. One is done next one click on again add folder and select extras select folder two done again add folder select T select folders three done again add folder click in most and select T select folder and the last one is the map power 6.0 cell okay so select this one and save it now to uh, run map power first uh, you need to test it to do that type in test map power this will take a couple of seconds uh, until then let's look at uh, the current folders where you can see a list of .m files which actually contains the information about uh, the different standard you know IEEE bus systems or standard uh, uh, power networks suppose for example this case 5.m consists of uh, information about the generators branches transmission lines for the standard five bus system and similarly the case 9 contains all the information for the nine bus systems and so on okay uh, and to run the power flow uh, in this platform mat power 6.0 is very easy you just have to type in run pf and inside that and give the uh, you know name of the case which you want to do the power flow. For example, if I want to do a power flow analysis for a standard fiber system, I could give run power flow inside the small bracket. You can type in case 5 and there, and you're ready to go. And you'll uh, get the every results like the information about the bus voltage magnitude, uh, active and reactive power flow losses, and all that information. Okay, let's see. Uh, type in result equal to run PDF inside that case 5 so 
So what will this do is that it will run the power flow analysis and uh, for the standard FIGO system and will store the result in the result variable. Okay. So you can also select the type of algorithm uh, which we'll be dealing in the next uh, episode. But uh, just remember that run PF will by default run the Newton Raphson load flow method of the load flow analysis and then will store the result will store the result in the result variable. Okay? So here are the results. Uh, these are the all the uh, data about the FIGOS system. Uh, here is the result after performing the analysis. So these are the information about the voltage magnitude at different buses. Suppose I want to plug these magnitudes so uh, to do that, I have to access these informations which are inside the bus uh, matrix, okay? So first of all, let's type in the result to know the basic nature of it. Actually, result is a structure that contains the information about the buses, generation, branches, costs, and everything. But I'm interested in bus informations and inside that also in the voltage magnitude. So I need to find out where is where are the voltage magnitude inside this bus matrix? So to do that, type in result dot bus, and you'll see uh, five rows and thirteen column information about the different information, uh, different type of information after performing the power flow analysis. But I'm interested in the magnitudes. I guess this is the magnitudes which is present in six, seven, and eight. So I need to access the information present only in the eighth column. So do that. Type in result dot bus. Open up the small bracket and give the information about the row in the first one and then the information about the column. So I need all the row, but present in eight column. So these are the voltage magnitudes. Okay. If you want to plot them, you can simply type in plot result. All row present in the eighth column. So if you do that, you'll end up with the uh, graph uh, that plots the bus voltage magnitude with respect to the bus information. So this is basically the, the plot. Okay. So this may not be quite vivid, but you can change the you know access information the color of this graph by just clicking uh, on the view tab and going to the property editor which uh, i will not be dealing much detail on this episode but that's the way you can do the powerful analysis using the method thanks for listening see you soon